today we have a problem with a BMW 320i F30. The car is still fine when engine is in idle position. But when the engine operates at low RPM, it stops occasionally and the gears returns to neutral. Now, by using the Easter, we're going to diagnose these problems. As you can see, there are misfires as seen in the 3, 4 and 1. Also, the ECU recognize these rough running values are different from each other. After a while, we can see that the misfire is still present, but now it only occurs in CNO 1 and 3. After diagnosed, let's work out what's wrong with this car. Before fixing our problems, let's take a look at the basics of the misfiring. There are plenty of reasons to increase rough running values, such as the ignitions, the excess air, the mixture deviation, the fault in fuel supply or the in insufficient compression pressure. The misfire detection system records the engine speed and can therefore detect poor compression in a particular cylinder. This misfire detection system is determined by the crankshaft sensor. This crankshaft sensor can detect the positions as well as the torque of each cylinder. The velocity of a normal running engine from its cylinder is completely different from the engine that has misfire cylinder. This is a graphic which illustrates the rough running values for cylinder 1 to 4. For your information, the permissible range for BMW is within minus 7 to 7. If these values are exceeded for a specific number, a fault is stored for each faulty cylinder detected. According to the graphic, we can see the blue line, which represents cylinder 1, is slightly higher than 7. This is how the ECM recognized misfire in cylinder 1. As we can see in the live data, the amount of air mass is above average. This should mean that our intake is having a leakage. Let's go ahead and check it. As a result, our intake manifold is broken, which allows more air to enter the engine. This is one of the reasons that leads to misfire detection. After replacing the intake manifold, the symptom is significantly reduced, but at some point, there is still misfire detection. Now, we will replace our ignition coil and check the data. After some checking and replacement, we will rotate the car at low RPM to see if the engine turned off itself or not. As we can see, the engine is running properly now. Overall, this misfire is related to the EMS and bad ignition coil when the engine is loaded.